Here we are again uh, with another episode of the uh, Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Medicine podcast. And, and now we're privileged to be talking from Melbourne um, at the World Federation of Nuclear Medicine and Biology. And it's really an exciting meeting because um, a key part of this is how international uh, nuclear medicine has become and how, how, particularly in this region, in the Pacific region, um, how important our uh, nuclear medicine players have become. It's not just the US, it's not just Australia, but um, really uh, other countries in the region, Japan, China, um, uh, Korea and so on, are making a huge difference in the world of nuclear medicine. So with that in mind, um, uh, what I'd like to do with Professor Huang, who's, mm. is that the, uh, I hope I've pronounced your name. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I'd like to, and he's he's going to. Uh, I would like to ask him a few questions about his involvement because he's going to be hosting um, the next meeting in in, in Shanghai, and uh, yeah. and this is a very important meeting, and and we'd love you to come because I think some of the things we're learning here are going to be even more exciting um, in the upcoming coming meeting. So, so firstly, I guess I guess one of the questions I'd like to ask is is uh, uh, how has the Chinese uh, influence in nuclear medicine, how has that changed over time and how is that important now? Yeah, I think China, uh, Chinese nuclear medicine uh, has developed very quickly and uh, now uh, there is a lot of uh, CT and uh, span CT and a lot of hospitals have <coughs> department of nuclear medicine. Uh, I think uh, nuclear medicine is very important uh, in uh, medicine and uh, help the modern medicine uh, develop very quickly. And uh, now we focus on precision medicine. Almost all the person like to uh, treat or diagnosis uh, by precision medicine. But how to use the precision medicine? I think uh, nuclear medicine has an uh, important role in precision medicine, especially uh, focus on how to target the disease and how to find the mechanism of disease. With molecular imaging and nuclear medicine, the clinical doctor may uh, can quickly know how effective the treatment is, allowing them to target the treatments more accurately and more successfully. I think it's a promise of personal medicine and uh, precision medicine. In China, uh, there, uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, nuclear medicine physicians uh, to focus on the oncology and uh, cardio, cardi- cardiovascular disease. They use the method of nuclear medicine to diagnosis and uh, treatments. I hope uh, in uh, Asian Oceania School of Nuclear Medicine, uh, we can provide uh, the professional training program and the continue, continue education to promote uh, the national level and the usage of nuclear medicine and also to promote the development of nuclear medicine, not only in China, but also in Asia, Oceania region and in the world. <laughs> Yes, we've, we've seen today where that's mm-hmm. been very important. We've seen uh, input from all sorts of countries mm-hmm. in Asia, and it's 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 great to see that input uh, um, uh, uh, from everywhere, from Thailand to to Japan to uh, Australia, New Zealand. All sorts of countries are benefiting from from working together in this process, and it's it's quite amazing. And you're right about precision medicine. I think the ability of nuclear medicine to measure a disease. Mm-hmm. is very important yeah. because if you can measure a disease, you can measure how effective the treatment is. Yeah. And what's great about the precision medicine and theranostics we're talking about is not only can you measure the disease, but you can you can actually use the radioactive material to also treat in a lot of cases the disease. Yeah. I think this is a, this is a great thing and I think this is really where... Well, where I think the, the future of, uh, of, of nuclear medicine is heading, I think, in many respects. Yeah. Um, 
one of the, the things is, is interesting in China is how that has influenced the technology around the world now. So a lot of the technologies from China have now started to, uh, now started to uh, be developed in China and be released rather than China adopting other technologies. They're adopting China, the technology of mm-hmm. Rome, for example. They now produce spec TC scanners. They now produce radio pharmaceuticals. How do you think that's going to influence the world? Not only China, but in Asia. Do you think Asia is going to be driving the future? rather than the uh, mm. other countries. Yeah, uh, I think now uh, the development of nuclear medicine in China uh, uh, is very quickly, but uh, we have some limitation about uh, the radio pharmaceuticals or uh, some, uh, the, I think, the human resources. We need a lot of professionals in nuclear medicine to do this work, but uh, the number of professionals in nuclear medicine is limited. We should cultivate more talent to do the nuclear medicine and to research some uh, relevant problem of nuclear medicine and resolve it. Radio pharmaceuticals is one of the most problems in nuclear medicine, I think. So uh, in China, we have a lot of uh, radio radio pharmaceuticals uh, professors of radio pharmaceuticals to focus, to resolve, or to find some new uh, radio pharmaceuticals or find some new isotopes to use the nuclear medicine and to find the better image. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, I think in Australia, we source mm-hmm. a lot of our radio pharmaceuticals from China. Yes, now. thank you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Hawaii, for mm-hmm. example, they produce a lot of the more advanced pharmaceuticals for the precursor pharmaceuticals for mm-hmm. the amyloid imaging. Yeah. That comes from directly from China. Ah. It used to come from Europe. Oh. But now it comes from China, and in fact, it comes from Shanghai. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's very exciting to see yeah. see how China is influenced. It was announced today that there's an uh, 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 Asian Oceania School of uh, mm. Nuclear Medicine. Do you think this will help with this education process? Yeah, uh, the Asian Oceania School of Nuclear Medicine is a uh, part of uh, Asian Oceania Federation of Nuclear Medicine and Biology, uh, which provides the professional training program and continuing education to promote uh, the national level or regional level of uh, and uh, usage of nuclear medicine. We hope this school will focus uh, to promote the development of nuclear medicine uh, especially focus on the cultivating the professionals of nuclear medicine, not only in China, but also in Asia yes. and also in other regions. You know, in Asia, there is some countries uh, have uh, very, uh, uh, de- has, have the developed uh, the nuclear medicine system. Maybe they can uh, help uh, other regions uh, with uh, the developing uh, level or of nuclear medicine and uh, uh, support them, pro- such as uh, provide some experts to le- to teach them and uh, to promote the development of the developing countries and regions. I hope we were. Uh, cultivate or establish some system to promote almost all the region in Asia in nuclear medicine. Mm. Yes, well, I saw this morning Mm. Bangladesh, Mm. for example, Mm. noted in particular how important China was Mm. in providing educational resources to their country to develop their nuclear medicine. And the good thing about nuclear medicine, it applies across all countries, developing or rich. In fact, a lot of the theranostics for cancer treatment, it's cheaper to provide cancer treatment using nuclear medicine Mm -hmm. than using conventional methods. And it also means that with a radioactive theranostics, you not have to buy expensive radiotherapy machines, mm-hmm. you can do it with a radioactive material, which is very suitable for a country that doesn't have a lot of resources like Bangladesh. So it's great to see that. Yeah. Uh, the good news is uh, uh, in China, there is uh, uh, 
increased number of PET CT and yes. just PET CT. Now there is about uh, uh, 350 PET CT scanner and uh, more than 800 uh, or PET CT uh, working in the hospital and the Institute of Nuclear Medicine. Uh, I hope the Chinese nuclear medicine catch up with the international step and uh, promote the level of nuclear medicine and uh, serve uh, to the clinical diagnosis and uh, treatment. Hmm. Well, I think probably the reverse is going to be true shortly. We're going to have a situation where we need to go to China to learn about how to do nuclear medicine better. Mm -hmm. And we need to, uh, and we'll be learning from some of the things that have been developed there. As I say, mm -hmm. you're already building new generation PET CT scanners. Yeah. And already doing pharmaceuticals. So it's great to see that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're in uh, we're in Melbourne here at the World Federation of Nuclear Medicine and Biology, and and it's a huge meeting which uh, encompasses uh, people from all around the world. And part of that is uh, to make this happen is that you really need sponsors who can who appreciate the value of nuclear medicine and who can really make it happen. And the diamond sponsor for this event um, is Chartwell and uh, and Chartwell Medical, and uh, and we've got Dr. Moto. Motokora, Motokora Kai, yeah. who, um, and and he's uh, he's uh, gonna he's really uh, from J Japan and China, yeah. if you like, yeah. and uh, and he's gonna and he's gonna talk to us. Tell, tell me a little bit about mm -hmm. about what you do, why you're a diamond sponsor, what, why is that, why is that so important to you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll先自我介绍一下，我叫他一声。呃，我先自我介绍一下我自己。呃，我是呃，出生在中国。然后艾斯六岁以后就去了日本获得了硕士和博士学位我学的是高分子合成的高分子化学然后进入当时的科尼卡公司也是这个照相机的前身了科尼卡公司然后我现在已经呃我有两个名字嘛其中一个名字在中
um, co-host the both of the forums together. Um, if there is no uh, WFNMB involved, then our forum will be conducted still in China, in in Shanghai. But this year we we got the chance, and um, as the chairman of the Chartwell Company, and he really liked to promote both of them um, to be conducting both of the forum together for the doctors of um, Asian doctors especially um, to have collaborations with the world. Yeah. He wanted mm. to provide the chance. So that's why that's what made him become the uh, diamond sponsor. I can see that makes that perfect was. sense. Yes. And, and particularly as Many of uh, in Melbourne, we have. Um, um, I'm at the University of Melbourne. We've got huge numbers of Chinese students in our medical schools. Huge numbers of Chinese students, <laughs> and the senior doctors in many of those cases. Uh, many of them come from China, and also you're saying Japan and China. Um, a lot of the pharmaceuticals we use in Melbourne come from both Japan and China, the radio pharmaceuticals. So uh, Takayoshi made the uh, Tao pharmaceuticals, which we, we talk about which are important in, in therapy for Alzheimer's disease and potentially other uh, dementias, a development in Japan. A lot of the Alzheimer's precursor traces come from China. And without the technology they've developed there, a lot of the technology to make these things, the cyclotron units, the chemical units and so on, all come from t technology from from both those countries, and Australia, Melbourne, the world is is deeply involved in educating people from Asia, and and we're also in, deeply involved in in, in moving uh, uh, a lot, learning a lot in China as well. So this is a great thing to see. Yes, Chadwell这个medical因为是做医疗的，但是从来没有黑血的产品的，因为我们只是或者是把日本的夫妻菲尔曼的产品啊作为它的一个总。so he wants to clarify that in Chartwell company, um, they don't do any of the products that's involved in nuclear medicine. Right. The main right. product is the X-ray films. X-ray films okay. from, from Fuji Film. From Fuji right, yeah. uh, in, Japan. in Japan. Okay, but <coughs> but you um, you're doing this um, philanthropically. Would that be a fair fair comment? Uh, Philanthropically, you're doing it as a as a gift to the world. 就是他他觉得您在做一件很好很善善良的事情，然后就是在给世界一个礼物吧。是，呃，very uh, interesting. I have two names. Yeah. Uh, Mototora Kai is a Japanese name. The Chinese maybe back in annoying China. This uh, my name is Pei Yuanhu, and the two have name. So I want to do. Uh, China and Japan's bridge, the first the bridge. Yes. I studying uh, from the Japan and uh, learning and working in uh, Japan's company. Now I sell the Japanese presence in China. Right. Uh, so I want to do this the uh, nuclear medicine, support this nuclear medicine for Japan and China, so more and more communication. Uh, and it begins uh, over to development to Asia nuclear medicine. The Asia nuclear is very poor, very poor. Yes. I want to with together Japanese and the South Korean and to push the, the Asia's nuclear medicine as a growth as strong. So this is my 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 job, my pressure, my process. Yeah. I only want to do this work. Sure, that is no, amazing. No presence. Uh, many people ask me, why are you doing this? You have some products, I have no products, I just want to do it. It's God who makes me do it. A lot of people ask me, why do you do a lot of sponsors to forums? What do you want to get from it? Right. But he says, there's, I don't have a purpose. Uh, 
<laughs> my, my, um, uh, my mother, she tells me the most important thing in the world is to leave the world a better place than the way you found it. And I think it sounds like you're trying to do that. Yeah, um, so uh, because we uh, because Dr. Kai is the um, for, uh, diamond sponsor of this yes. event, yeah. um, so the WF uh, WFNMV have provided a few um, um, the uh, spaces in the exhibition um, place. Um, so they he he provided to the Chinese um, companies for free, oh, so for them to set up their booth um, for yes. free um. to promote the Chinese. Um. Products. Right, and this is a perfect marriage because the truth is, um, te- nuclear medicine is about technology. It's about new technology and evolving technology. And where is that coming from now? It's coming from China. <laughs> Would that be fair? Yeah. And 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 te- the ordinary Chinese citizen has adopted technology probably faster than any citizen in the world now. Right? From WeChat to <laughs> to everything. And so so I think uh, part of that is that that's that's the way, that's the skill, that's the the gift that the Chinese can have for the world, and I think yeah. uh, I think the world should very much appreciate that. Thank you. Our company has a dream, and it's to make more money. I want to make this company, I want to make it a respected and respected company. This is our goal. This is our goal. This is our goal. So the company that he wanted to do is um, for the society to be respected. Yes. Not to earn. Like too much of the money, right? Yeah, yeah. That's not how he measures a success of the company. My mother would like him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's true. It's Thank true. You. She definitely would yeah. because uh, because um, that's that's how you sleep well at night to know that you've done that to know you've left the, made the world a better place. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Nick, it is to bring out these two objectives. 一个呢，就推动亚洲核医学和世界核医学的交流，然后最大嘛，还有一个就是帮助中国的核医学的企业走向世界，这就是我作为大家梦的一个目的。So there are two main goals for being the diamond sponsor for this event. First is to promote、um, the Asian nuclear medicine.、Um, The, towards the world, yes. so pushing the boundaries of the Asian、yes. nuclear medicine. Secondly, he wants to provide a chance for the Chinese enterprises, the companies, to come here and promoting their product to the yes. world. Yeah. That's the main two goals. It's a very simple. It's a simple goal, but I think it's going to work. <laughs> I think I think it's going to work, and I think I think.、Um, Uh, Melbourne、uh, was really founded by Chinese in 1850s in the gold rush. This city was founded by Chinese. My great great grandfather was Mr. Lee from Guangzhou. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> grand to grand. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of Australians who who who, who come from,、uh, from that background.、Uh. And I think. I think it's important that uh, uh, that, uh, that that really、uh, we're better learning from each other than uh,、um, uh, than than competing from each other. I think we、uh, we work better together than apart. And I think、uh, and I think、uh, the generosity that you've shown is an example to Australians who should be also doing the same, or to Americans, or to Europeans who should say, "Let's go and." Let's go and、uh, let's go and、uh, sponsor other meetings. Let's go and help other people, and particularly, let's help people in Bangladesh. Let's help people in Myanmar. Let's help people in India.、Uh, India is doing very well, mind you. India's got some great technology as well, but also in, in other parts of the world that can be Africa, for example.、Mm-hmm. We've got、uh, Dr. Sethi here, who's doing a lot of work on infection in Africa. There's a lot of work that, that the whole world can benefit from in that case. And thank you very much for making yes, that happen. Yes, thank you. Thank you.